Hello guys, today I want to proudly present my new online course called Better Eloquent Performance. This is the 22nd course on my Teachable platform and in this video I will tell you what's inside but the best way to purchase that course is not to pay $29 plus VAT for the course itself but instead I advise you to subscribe to yearly membership where you will get all the current courses and everything I will release for a year ahead. Now, eloquent performance. It was number one topic of popularity on this YouTube channel for years and years. Whenever I release a video of optimization about some eloquent or top three eloquent mistakes or something like that, it was one of the most viewed videos. And I decided to compile that into quite a short course with reimagining, rethinking the same ideas from those YouTube videos with the latest Laravel versions and with repositories included for you to play around. There are 20 lessons, in total one hour and 14 minutes, so it's quite a short course. And I deliberately made the lessons as short as possible, so lessons, most of the lessons are less than five minutes, because each of them tackles specific problem, specific situation, and answers the question how to optimize that situation. So three lessons are free for preview, so you can check them out. And if we take a look at all the curriculum, so first section is about n plus one query problem, which is by far the number one cause of eloquent performance problems in my experience. Then we will optimize the RAM, optimize CPU and queries. We will compare Query Builder versus Eloquent and everything is covered with examples. Finally, the final section is the circular relationships to itself. So unlimited levels of like categories, subcategories and sub subcategories. So how to deal with those? I asked you on YouTube previously, what questions do you have about Eloquent? And this was the number one mentioned thing. So this now became a separate section in the course. And as I said, it is all covered with repositories on GitHub. So there are 14 repositories available for this course for most of the examples. So you can play around with those and you will get the access within this course. So each lesson will have a link to a specific repository related to that lesson. So I invite you to join me in this quite a short course. And by doing that, you also support this YouTube channel because the more money I make from the courses, the more time I have to shoot free videos here on YouTube. So the best way for you to support me is to subscribe to yearly membership of my courses. Next course is November is planned to be about GraphQL. So stay tuned for that as well. And see you guys in other videos free on YouTube or premium in my courses.